Hey Rebel EM subscribers, Salim Razaya here, and today I want to talk about suction-assisted laryngoscopy and airway decontamination, also known as SALAD. I don't want to specifically talk about the procedure. What I want to talk about is a recent study that came out looking at the catheter device that we use and the amount of fluid or contaminant we are able to suck out. And this study was published in BMC Anesthesiology in 2022 comparing suction rates of the novel Ducanto catheter against the Ankauer and standard suction catheter using liquids of different viscosity, a technical simulation. I've left the PMID number here for you at the bottom so you can go to PubMed and look, look up the paper yourself and look at it for yourself. But here's basically what the authors were trying to do. They were trying to decide which suction catheter, a 14 French suction catheter, a Yankauer catheter, or a Ducanto catheter is most effective at suctioning liquids of different viscosity. Now, here's how they defined their four different viscosities or four preparations that they put together. So it was low viscosity, syrup-like viscosity, honey-like viscosity, and pudding-like viscosity. I think those descriptive words are pretty good to give us an idea of the consistency of the fluids that were being suctioned. The way they achieved this is they used tap water with varying amounts of thickener to achieve that viscosity they were looking for. Then what they did is they took one of these three catheters and they suctioned each preparation for 15 seconds. And they calculated the amount of volume that was suctioned out over that 15 seconds. Here's what they ended up finding. The Ducanto catheter, all in green, was by far and away the most superior catheter in getting the most volume out, regardless of viscosity of fluid. Yank hour suction was the next best and then finally the least was the 14 French suction catheter. What's impressive is if you look at the low viscosity, the Ducanto catheter in 15 seconds sucked out a liter. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And for the pudding-like consistency, it got about a quarter of a liter out. And you can see that that was way, way, way better than any of the other devices that were uh, tested. So the clinical bottom line for airway decontamination we want to get the best view that we possibly can to be successful in our intubation. That would require that we get out as much fluid as we can or contamination in the airway. And based on this simulation study, it appears the Decanto catheter is gonna be the superior device in doing this, greater than a yank hour suction, which is gonna be even better than a 14 French suction catheter. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and questions. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, until next time.